वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश टेन सो डिटरमाइन द इक्वल इन स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ऑन एलिमेंट एट द सेम पॉइंट ओरिएंटेड सिक्सटी डिग्री क्लॉक वाइज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एलिमेंट शोन स्केच द डाइग्राम सो फर्स्ट वी विल राइट द गिवन डेटा इन गिवन डेटा वी हैव गिवन दैट सिगमा एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल Similarly, sigma y that is equal to hundred mega pascal, and tau of x y is seventy five mega pascal. So this is tau of x y. So what we have to find is we have to find the uh, equivalent state of stress. So sigma x dash, sigma y dash, and Tau of x dash y dash when theta is equal to sixty degree clockwise. So if we write clockwise, there in then there is no need to write minus. So if you do not mention, then t here theta is equal to minus sixty degree. So let's start with the solution. So when you rotate. This is let's it's x axis and this is y axis, clear. So if but if you rotate this, this is the x axis, this is y axis, and what if you rotate the this x x axis through an angle of sixty degree clockwise? Okay, so this is sixty degree clockwise. So definitely your y dash y will also move to a new coordinate system will be y dash. So you have to then draw the element as I am going to draw it. Okay. So in this condition, your equivalent stress will be sigma x dash in x dash direction. Similarly, in y direction, it will be. This one, and your shear stress will be like that. This will be your tau of x dash y dash, and this will be your sigma y dash. So we will find them, and we will also sketch them on the plot. So first, we have to find sigma x dash, and you know that this is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by two plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by two into cos of two theta plus tau of x y sine of two theta. Now theta is sixty minus sixty degree, so from here we will get two theta is equal to. Minus one twenty degree. So you can just put the values. Sigma x is one fifty plus sigma y is hundred divided by two plus one fifty minus hundred divided by two into cos of minus one twenty degree plus seventy five is tau of x y to sine of minus one twenty degree. So when you calculate it, you will get sigma x dash comes out to be forty seven point five mega pascal. Now you will find sigma y dash and sigma y dash is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by two minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by two into cos of two theta minus tau of x y sine of two. Theta. So put the value one fifty plus hundred divided by two minus one fifty minus hundred divided by two into cos of minus one twenty degree minus seventy five into sine of minus one twenty degree. That will give you sigma y dash. So sigma y dash from here you will get that. Sigma y will be equal to two zero two mega pascal. Okay. Now, 
for top x dash y dash we know that top x dash y dash is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta plus top x y cos of 2 theta so just put the value minus 150 minus 100 divided by 2 into sine of minus 120 degree plus 75 into cos of minus 120 degree so you will get this top x dash y dash comes out to be minus 15.8 mega pascal so now we will represent them also i have uh, shown you this uh, diagram you can see when we rotate this axis to 60 degrees so these are the transform stress sigma x is this one clear similarly sigma y will be this one and the shear stress will now change the only direction of shear stress will be changed so we will rectify them uh, the direction will be this one this will be the direction so sigma x dash is equal to uh, 47.5 megapascal 47.5 megapascal while sigma y dash is equal to 202 megapascal and tau of x dash y dash is equal to minus 15.8 mega pascal i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, again thank you for watching and supporting me and uh, now you can solve this question 9.11 by yourself you have to follow the same procedure but you can see that here the theta is 60 degree clock counterclockwise so this theta will be now equal to plus 60 and this two theta will become equal to plus 120 degree and again for new axis let this is your x this you this is your y so your new x dash will be this this will be your y dash and this will be x dash and your element will be like that sigma x dash sigma x dash similarly sigma y dash will be this one and this one i hope you will be able to solve problem 9 dash 1 if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching